was a hard time, and only the most unconventional methods were succeeding in business. Certainly, we didn't look like the popular image of businessmen. We were special. Once you appreciated the power we held, you could only be astonished at our cleverness. Unemployment had become a way of life, and the vagabonds had formed into bands, leaders, organisations, and even in some cases, apocalyptic religions whose leaders preached the coming of the millennium. These last were as rare as threatened species, cosseted, protected, and filmed by bored journalists eager for symbols of the times. The rest of the bands roamed the country godless, hungry, and unpublicised. One of the things that war crimes is about is simply about the morality of business, the consequences of the decisions that are taken in business, and that it's the result of certain decisions made in boardrooms or in meeting rooms. Often someone might really die. I always think of it as a very realistic story about a couple of uh, punk hippie capitalists who, who go out to sort out a uh, frozen food business that's in a lot of trouble. And it's about power, and it's about just how attractive and seductive power can, can be, like a very potent sort of drug. The central character in, in war crimes is a psychotic, but the things that he's frightened of and the things that drive him are really not all that different from many of the things that drive us people in a, living in our society. He's frightened of being dispossessed, he's frightened of uh, inhuman working conditions and having to work in a factory. He's frightened of ending up at the bottom of the shit heap, I suppose, and nobody caring. And given that he's achieved some power and he has an enormous amount of fear, what this produces is a very, very potent mix. And he understands, and, and, and as I think Perhaps the reader might understand why it is that human beings can raise villages and annihilate populations. Because you know, one has that explosive mixture of great fear and, and the power to do so. It was a very frightening story to write. And I really do think it, uh, it actually took some courage to do it because one reaches a point in writing about that sort of character where one just doesn't want to go on. And it still frightens me. I suppose I've always been interested in monsters and the monsters within us. And I suppose I've often investigated the things that most terrify me in society and in history. And, and if one wonders how all those, those Germans suddenly became supporters of fascism, what, what came from within those perfectly decent and ordinary human beings that made them act in that way. And stories like war crimes are an investigation, really, of, of the monsters within us. Around the factory, the country was scrubby, dense, prickly, and unattractive. Certain grasses betrayed the presence of swamp, and the air itself was excessively humid and almost clean. The prospect of spending 12 months here was not a pleasant one. 